In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import a CD into iTunes and put on your iPod. To get started, go ahead and open up iTunes. If iTunes is not already on your desktop, you can go ahead and search for it and just type in iTunes. This search feature is also available similarly in Windows 7 and 8. Go ahead and open up iTunes. iTunes is open. You can, before opening iTunes or after opening iTunes, go ahead and insert your CD now. Once the CD is loaded, iTunes will ask you, do you want to import the entire CD? You can say yes, no, or don't show me this message again. I don't want the entire CD. So for this, I'm going to say no. And then look here, all the songs are selected. Just simply uncheck the songs that you do not want to import in. I want Daylight Dies and My Curse. So go ahead, uncheck all the songs you don't want. And hit Import CD. Just leave it however it is. I choose MP3 encoder, so if MP3 encoder is not already selected, go ahead and select MP3, but AAC, if it's already selected, is fine as well. Let's go ahead and hit MP3. Okay. It is now importing those songs. It gives you at the top an estimated time of how much is left before the song is imported into your library. All right, and songs are imported into your library. Go back to your library using the music tab here, and you can either search for those songs that you just put in or simply scroll through here. We typed in the library was Kill Switch, so we'll go ahead and type in Kill Switch. Oh, there it is. And there's the song I just put in, Daylight Dies. You can go ahead now if you want and create a playlist by simply going to Playlist, hitting the plus here, New Playlist, and you can name the playlist whatever you want. For this one, I'm going to put Import to iPod. And there it is. And now that the Import to iPod folder has been created, you can either keep this as your primary playlist and anytime you add another CD into iTunes you can put it in this playlist or you can continue to make new playlists every time you put a CD in so that way each playlist will be a different CD. The call is yours. Alright, import iPod. Go back to My Music. Find the songs that you wanted to put on your iPod. So for example, Daylight Dies, just simply go ahead and drag it into your playlist. Import to iPod. And the other one was My Curse. Let's go ahead and type in My Curse. There it is. Takes me right to it. Go ahead, drag that over to Import to iPod. And now you can either go ahead and eject the CD or plug the iPod in or leave the CD in and plug the iPod in. It doesn't really matter at this point. I'm going to leave the CD in and plug the iPod in just because I can. If your iPod is not installed properly or if there's new updates, it'll install it real quick. And when the iPod is in, you'll see this little iPod logo up here. Go ahead and click that. It is syncing up the folders I have already set up with this iPod to sync in. But because I created a new playlist, I'm going to add that playlist real quick. Which by going to music, scratch that, by going to settings, settings music, I have my old playlist, which is entire library, or the new playlist, which was import to iPod. I'm just going to simply select the new playlist that I just created, which has those songs I just showed you. Once that is selected, you just hit Apply. It is beginning to sync. It will only take a few moments. And there's the song. There's the second song. And sync's complete. Now you can simply just eject the iPod by pressing this. iPod is ejected. Go ahead and unplug your iPod. 
And now you're ready to take the iPod wherever you need to go. And that is how you put a CD onto your iPod.